what is up everyone it is rachel welcome back to my channel and so today's video is super exciting because i am finally leaving the house for a vlog Woohoo! right now me and some friends from high school we are going to go axe throwing my first time ever axe throwing so that will be very exciting so let's go axe throwing are you excited for axe throwing your first times yeah this is my first time i'm like excited but i think it's funny because like a couple months ago like my friends in seattle were like we should go axe throwing and i was like this sounds like the dumbest idea and yeah here i am just like you know going for it here in like our hometown so i told our dad what we were doing because he was like where are you going and i was like we're going axe throwing and he goes we'll see you if you get back <laughs> so, <laughs> we might not get back and that's okay on the website, you have to wear closed-toed shoes, so none of us are <laughs> going to be losing our toes. Maybe fingers, though. Yeah, we'll see. We didn't do any practice. This is her first <laughs> shot. Go. You got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> We're going to be so I'm awkward. <laughs> That's a bad answer. You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in the parking lot. We finished. It's actually like a workout. My arm and like hand really hurts. I have blisters on one of my fingers. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it right there. Oh my gosh. But I have a blister on my hand from all of the axe throwing. Alyssa was really good. She got a few bullseyes. Like, was it four? In I the got end? two and a half. Two and a half, okay. Two and a half. Depending on how you qualify a bullseye. Okay, so. <laughs> Rachel and I, not so much, no. kept on getting remedial lessons. I think I help. got it on like the wood block one single time. <laughs> Rachel was really good at hitting the wood block, but she wasn't very good at getting bullseyes. Yeah, so. not good at the aim. And so. you were like an early leader. Like, I think, were you the first one to get it into the woods? She you were was. like, oh, Rachel's got this. She's going to be the best. And then actually, it was a little came, from, came behind. from behind. Late bloomer. <laughs> what would you recommend out of like, 10 stars would you recommend people do axe throwing 10 stars or i guess like out of out of 10 how much did you enjoy the experience and would you recommend other people do axe throwing 10 out of 10 enjoyed it i would say recommended depends on whether or not you like like physical stuff because mm. i think if you don't like working out this is basically a workout just disguised as fun <laughs> we so. were also talking about how this could be a really funny first date or like some kind of date idea mm -hmm. but also that we would want to like go beforehand and be like kind of like a pool shark you know where you like pretend like you're bad and then just like 
knock it out of the park as the date goes on. I would say it's enjoyable, definitely fun, but we would recommend if you're looking for some axe throwing, some- If you're looking for some action. <laughs> oh my gosh, Alyssa's gonna start her own vlog now. Yeah, obviously. We'll see you all in um, white elephant time. Okay team, it is a few days later now and it is white elephant time. So like white elephant, if you didn't know, it's sort of like Secret Santa where you group of friends, you do like a gift exchange, except unlike Secret Santa, with white elephant, you don't get like a name of a person to get a gift for, but you just get a gift. And then at the exchange, you get a number and then you pick a gift and then there's like trading involved. It could get intense if people are trading the gifts a lot. Everyone wants one specific item that's up for grabs. So I'll show you what I got and we'll wrap it. So this is the item that I am bringing. It is a nail polish set. And then also I have this face mask and then this foot mask that we're sticking in there. Literally all the pets, they want this wrapping paper we just brought out. All of this is like broken, so we're gonna cut that off. I'm going to get hit. Ugh. Okay, Gigi. This is what she's doing. Okay, that is Loki really bad, but this way looks fine. And I don't know, with wrapping paper, it's like you spend 30 seconds with it and then you open it, so it's gonna be ugly anyways, but I'll just put it, you know, face like this, so you can't see that backside. Cool, it is a different day now. I am going to show you all what I got. And then I also bought myself some athletic gear, which is sort of funny. I need to uh, start working out again to actually make the best use out of the athletic stuff that I got. From the white elephant, I had originally picked something and then it was stolen. And then the thing that I got then, it was also stolen so this is the gift that I have and the first thing are these weatherproof socks and I'm excited about these because with walking the dog in the winter it is quite chilly outside so actually some heavy-duty socks would be good so your ankles and feet don't get too cold so these are actually very handy dandy and then some Ghirardelli caramel milk chocolate so these will be super yummy and then and the last thing in the white elephant was this candle. It says the scent is currant berry, so it's a one wick candle. It smells good. It smells warm, but not like vanilla warm, but more like spicy warm, if that makes sense. So those were the items that I got in the white elephant. And then my manager at work actually sent me this snowman. It is from More Cookies Please, which is a small business. I thanked my manager and then she said that this cookie was actually one of the only cookies that she has found that looks cute and also tastes good. So we will have to try that out. It's just like so cute, I don't want to open it, you know? And then now, moving into the athletic wear haul, I bought all of this stuff when it was on sale, so not buying it full price, and I haven't actually worn many of the pieces yet because it's winter. So I got two items from Gymshark and then a couple items from Fabletics during their sales. And with this haul, nothing is sponsored. I just wanted to share what I bought with you all, but you know, Gymshark Fabletics, I would love a sponsorship in the future. That would be quite awesome. So the first thing from Gymshark is just this black Gymshark shirt says Gymshark in green. It's that kind of uh, moisture wick material, so definitely for like working out or, you know, I'll wear it casually as just a t-shirt, but working out it works. So you're not like sweating through your shirt. And I liked it. It's a full size shirt, so definitely very versatile. Wear it for working out or not. The next thing I got is this Gymshark long sleeve pullover. I think I was actually looking at a different style, but then it sold out by the time 
time I was like checking out with my cart. So then I just got this style, but like they pretty much look the same, I guess. I'm excited. I have wanted one of these kind of long sleeve athletic shirts for a bit. So this will definitely be a good piece to walk the dog in. <laughs> So going into the Fabletics stuff, they had the 2 for 24 deal going on and so had to do that. And so I got one pair of the just the regular brown leggings, but these are the winter kind, so it has a little bit more insulation on the inside. And so I really wanted that, again, for walking the dog in the cold, so my legs won't get cold wearing like regular leggings. And so with the 2 for 24 deal, I got a pair of leggings for myself and then got my mom a pair of pants as well. The next thing I got was this camo sports bra. I don't really have that many sports bras still. A lot of the ones I've had have like rotted now because they're like super super old from high school. So I wanted to stock up on a, another sports bra and I have the camo leggings from Fabletics so I felt like if I wanted to make a set then this top and those camo leggings would match. And then finally for Fabletics I got this brown windbreaker. I just thought that this windbreaker was so cute it has so many different pockets, like a pocket here, a pocket here. So I thought this would be handy, especially for leggings that don't have pockets. Then I have pockets in my jacket. And so that was my little white elephant and athletic gear haul. I'm pretty sure this video is going to go up during the holiday weekend. So I hope that you all watching had a great holiday with your friends and family, and you're staying safe, healthy, and happy out there. If if you like this video definitely give it a big thumbs up to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much and I will see you all next time.